Hey guys, it's midnight. I have a lot to say. I don't really know how to say it. Hopefully it comes out well. I don't really know. So lately, being petty is like a really cool thing to do apparently. Being petty, cutting people off, treating people like they're disposable, hating people basically, making fun of them, favoriting tweets against people, like all of this stuff, it, it's deemed cool and it's just kind of like the norm now, which is so unbelievably sad. Being petty is possibly the ugliest thing that you can do. Right now I'm really quickly going to list off 10 things that you can do besides being petty because there are other things in the world to do, guys. You can write a book, you can listen to music, make a cup of coffee, make a cup of tea, write a book, ride your bike, go look at the sun, walk your dog, do a face mask, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Ten things that are better than being petty. I'm sorry that I sound angry. I really don't even mean this as a rant. I'm just very, very passionate about this. And the worst part is, like, I am preaching this to the choir, and I'm also, like, a lead singer. I'm the lead freaking singer of the choir. We all mess up. We all do this stupid stuff, and I hate that I've done this. I... I hate that I've ever been like this. This is definitely something I am definitely getting better at. I'm sure there's people who are much worse than me. I'm sure there's people who are much better than me. As always, I believe in love and I believe in forgiving people regardless of what that means. I think you hold the power in you to handle situations the way that they should or shouldn't be handled or that are best for you and are best for them. At the end of the day, there is not one situation that love and forgiveness are not the best way to handle them. Someone could do you so wrong and you are still better off forgiving them and loving them from afar. Something that my friend Alyssa said a few weeks ago that's really, really, really has stuck with me is that we are called to love everyone but we don't have to love them all up close. We can love them from afar. If in order for you to be able to love someone, you have to love them from afar, only seeing them maybe once or twice a month when you really have to, that's okay. The way you love each and every person doesn't have to look the same, but you do need to love everyone. And when I say that, I think a lot of you are gonna really disagree with me, and that's fine. We can agree to disagree, but it's so much easier to love people than it is to hate them. Hating people takes a lot of energy, a lot of negative energy, a lot of things that, like, you just don't need to have in your heart. I almost lost one of my best friends in the entire world because I was so hung up on who owed who an apology and who was wrong. And at the end of the day, like, why does that matter? Um, something that comes to mind with just living with hatred in your heart. Someone faced on me a few months ago and was going off about how much they hated this other person that they had not talked to in at least six months. And was just going off and off and off for so long and even put it like in their notes to tell me the rest of the stuff the next day. And I was just sitting there like not even listening and just kind of being like, this is such a sad way to live your life. Not even that person's fault at all specifically. We've all been there. I've been there. We have literally every single person has been there. But that was just kind of my wake up call with how much energy it takes to hate someone and how much that really weighs on you. Um, there are people in my life that I have, that I know are not good for me and that I know the friendship is not really going to take me where I should be or bring out the best qualities in me, yada yada. And you know what I do? I love those people from afar. And you know what? When you tell me that so-and-so has done all of this stuff and you just list off all of these things, all of these things, you know what I'm going to tell you? Oh, that's right. Love them from afar. You know what? You don't even need an apology to forgive people. I know. It's a really weird concept. Something that I've really learned this year. We're not getting any of the apologies that I thought that I needed or that I thought that I wanted or that I thought that I like deserved. I could have easily just sat there and not forgiven them and had all of that like weighing down on me or I could have just chose to forgive them and love them from afar. And you know how much better I felt once I did that? So much better! I know some people are going to view this as me being a doormat or me being weak or me um, just kind of being a pushover and kind of putting up with things that I don't deserve in life and I don't view it that way at all. If anything, I view it as me becoming a stronger person. I don't find my worth or my identity in the friendships and the relationships that I have with other people. While I love those, and I truly believe that at the end of the day, all that matters is like loving in your relationships with other people. Um, I don't find my worth in that. So I am able to forgive them and love them from afar because I don't find my value and my self-worth in how someone else is treating me. I find a lot more value and self-worth in the fact that I know that I can love other people. By no means am I suggesting to keep really negative, really toxic people in your life because that's not what I want you to do at all. But I do think that you should forgive them regardless. And forgiveness is such a weird thing because forgiveness actually is almost a selfish thing. When I forgive people, I don't necessarily forgive them because of them. Like, I don't really do it for them. I do it because I know I will feel better. And like, 
I, look at it that way. I mean, yeah. You don't need to be their best friend. You don't need to hang out with them all the time. But it's much better to just be like, you know what? I'm going to love you from afar. I'm, in order to love you, I know that I need you to be far away from me. And that is okay. That is so much better than having all this negative animosity towards that person. So I don't know if any of this made any sense to you guys. Um, I'm really sorry if it didn't. I'm just so tired of seeing people just like being petty and thinking it's so cool and glorifying that because that isn't what should be glorified. There's so many young people who are like on social media too and are so impressionable and think that that's how you should treat people. Like they really, really do. You're all gonna need forgiveness someday. None of us are gonna need to be petty. There's so much freedom in love and forgiveness. You have no idea. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope this made sense at all. I don't really know. I'm sure people are gonna disagree with me. Whatever, I don't care. Love you guys so much. It is so late, so I'm gonna go to bed. But I hope you guys had an amazing day. Um, weird turn of events in this video, but I will see you soon. Bye.